Setting up a fund using Melon software is pretty straightforward. Every fund built on Melon starts with a compulsory core. The core is a non-negotiable part of the fund and it connects together with any external modules the fund manager might require. The core part, together with a set of rules on how the core interacts with its modules, constitutes the Melon protocol. We recognise that most fund managers have different needs and desires for a fund structure, so we make the modules open and optional. Since Melon software is open source, any developer can participate in building modules. Modules come in different classes. If developers want to add modules into the price feed class, for example, they can do so under their own reputation or as an entity they represent. Similarly, if developers want to add modules into the compliance class, which would ensure the fund complies with regulatory requirements, they are free to do so, and so on and so forth. If a fund manager wants to set up their own fund, all they have to do is to select the modules they want. The modules will then be connected to the core and deployed to the blockchain. Standardization of the core makes it easy to calculate fund performance stats. Once the fund is created, it will only ever be able to interact within the pre-selected parameters, namely the Mellon core and any chosen modules. This guarantees adherence to a specific predefined rule set. These rules will be enforced by the code of the smart contracts in which they are expressed. Users gain access to the Mellon protocol through Mellon tokens, which give them a limited usage right. Developers are incentivized to develop and maintain software modules with Mellon tokens. These tokens are created through an inflation algorithm which will pay module developers proportionately to the usage of their modules and the difficulty factor associated with the respective module classes. This is the Mellon Protocol.